This tutorial shows how the MATLAB function MeshGrid creates a set of XY coordinates on the XY plane. This is primarily used in the evaluation of functions of two variables and in 3D surface plots. Define vectors X and Y which represent the coordinates along the X and Y axis. Use the MATLAB function MeshGrid to create the set of XX, Y, Y coordinates on the XY plane. The variable names XX and YY are used to define the outputs from MeshGrid in order to distinguish them from the input variable X and Y. Note that XX is a 6x7 array with its rows as copies of vector X. And YY is a 6x7 array with its columns as copies of vector Y. Hence, arrays XX and YY represent a set of 42 coordinates on the XY plane. Examples to illustrate this are shown next. Consider the XY plane with the X axis from minus 3 to plus 3 and Y axis from minus 3 to plus 2. As in the vectors X and Y, the increments on the X and Y axis are 1. The elements corresponding to the first row, first column in XX and YY represent the coordinates of the first point, minus 3, minus 3, as shown. The elements corresponding to the fourth row, third column in XX and YY represent the coordinates of another point, minus 1, 0, as shown. The elements corresponding to the 6th row, 7th column in XX and YY represent the coordinates of the last point, 3, 2, as shown. In the similar fashion, all 42 points on the XY plane are represented by arrays XX and YY. Note that the number of data points slash coordinates can be increased by decreasing the magnitude of the increments in vectors X and or Y.